it's Jimmy Kim, and in this demo, I'm gonna show you exactly how Doodly works and exactly how you can create high converting professional doodle videos with a few clicks of a mouse. So let's go ahead and select one. So first of all, you'll notice that you can pick whiteboard or blackboard right off the back. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the whiteboard and I'm just gonna name this project anything. Once I hit create, it's gonna take me right into the doodly members area. And once you're locked in there, you'll notice that the interface is really simple and easy to use. You'll see that there's all these little areas that you can go on the right, left, and then of course the settings down here, you can always change different things when it comes down to it. So let's go ahead and create an animation first all right so you'll notice that there's tons of characters here it is a desktop based tool but it does require the internet to pull the different updates and give you the best animations that you need to use in order to create it so it does go back and forth so I don't want anyone to be confused with that all right so let's go ahead and create a animation right now on how simple it really is to create it so let's say that we have a guy here sitting on a chair obviously sitting on a chair is not going to be good enough without a chair so let's go ahead and first find a chair for you and let's put that down here and then we can go ahead and take the character and we can throw him right on that chair and we can put him sit there so let's just say we need to increase the size of the chair a little bit more and we can take him and we can slide him right over now he's too small for the chair so we'll bring him up so now in order we can have a guy in a small chair we can bring that chair size down and we can even layer it as well so sliding it under there and then simply I can simply go and layer it so that the chair goes over and under if we need to turn the guy or flip him around we can flip him around just like that or we can even take him and turn him around in circles just like that so in this case I'm gonna throw him on this chair he's reading on here and what what else would we need here we would need a table right so we'll go back over here and type in table and we can bring a table into here so we're gonna look for a good table to put him on we'll just select this table here we'll take it we'll slim it down we'll put him in front of it as he's sitting over it and he's hovering just like that and then we can go ahead and put a watch or a clock on it Let's see here now we don't want to put a watch on him so we'll put a clock on the wall here just to have some more information uh, more images up here as well so once you're done with it as you saw how easy it was I can flip it I can twirl it I can enlarge in it just inside of here here's the really cool thing about doodly and what we really like we're gonna jump into how to change the draw paths and all that good stuff in just a second but once you do it you can hit preview and you can kind of see exactly how it draws and you'll see really quickly here that it draws very very clear very realistic and you'll see the hand movement is just crisp and clear and that's the whole point we wanted to make it realistic feeling so there you have it right there now here's what's cool you can adjust the time right down here as you can see me dragging that slider so if I drag it down to like four or five seconds that's what that three seconds here and I hit preview you'll see how fast they move in order to draw it or you can slow them down and if you have a longer area and you want to go 20 seconds we can hit preview again you'll see how slow he does it but you'll also so see how nice and clear and concise these drawings are which is exactly what we're looking for when it came to these doodle animations all right so let's go ahead and add a prop because that's a question that a lot of people want and have when it comes down to first things first props we don't require the special SVG vector images we can do any PNG or any JPEG alright so once you do that you hit plus here and you can add a prop so in this case I have an octagon here ready for it so I'm gonna just pick one a simple one and octagon and once I hit create what it's gonna do is it's gonna first load it right in and it's gonna have the same exact characteristics that we had before so in effort to show you how easy it is I'm gonna go ahead and clear the screen out real quick and I'll show you how easy you'll notice that everything goes orange when I ho hover over it to make sure that you know exactly what image you're selecting so in this case I have this octagon and I took this octagon and I can enlarge it and I can make it smaller or bigger and you'll notice that the quality stays the same now here's what's cool first I'll show you the draw path this is our generic default draw path what we mean by this is it takes it automatically and realizes what the image looks like and it creates that draw path but if you want to create a custom one you just create it on this little pencil because it's your own image you'll have a pencil you can hit edit and you'll see here on the right hand side all the little different tools you have first of all you can zoom into them so it's easier to uh, select it so let's go ahead and zoom into this image nice and big now you'll notice there's this thing called path here this is how your hand motion goes and you'll always see a live preview going over and over 
this here are your tools. So in this case, I'm gonna increase my path size. I'm gonna take my little pointer here and I'm gonna go ahead and start drawing it. You'll notice real quick, this red line starts showing up. And that what that red line is, you'll see it on the right here, is how you draw it. So if you have a mistake, you can just go back and you can fix it. And if I select through it, you'll see real quick on the right hand side, so I'm gonna stop there for a second, but you'll see how it draws exactly how you do. Now, I wanted to show you that because you can also do it like this as well. If you want to draw it in a different fashion, you can take it there and you can go ahead and hit a new path here. You can tell it, hey, lift up your pen and start here next. Then you can hit a new path here. You can say, select your pen here and hit a new path here. Select your pen here and so forth. And what this does is you'll see here on the right hand side, it draws it exactly like you want it to. Now I can go ahead and hit again a new path here and you can do this and do that. Or you can take it and, hype and drag it. If you want him to drag his pen all the way down, if I pull his hand here down to the end, so right now it's right up here. If I pull his hand down to the end, he'll actually draw a draw path based around how you want it to. So you can control the hand anywhere you want. So if I wanted to and make it really sloppy, I can actually go through here and do it exactly how I want to. So this is up to you how you want it to show up. So you can have him jumping hand to hand. You can have him drawing all you want, however, you want when it comes down to it so by doing that you'll see how his hand is moving all, all over the place now let's go ahead and increase the speed so slow down the speed so you can actually see it so you'll see how he draws exactly how I did it now you'll see his hand is just moving all over the place now if there's nowhere for him to draw he's just gonna drag his hand but now it doesn't it's all about making it look more realistic so you know that's completely up to you how you want his hand to move but that's how we let you do it because we wanted to give you the custom ability to draw the most realistic draw paths that you create, all right? So with that being said, once you're done, you can hit save and it'll save automatically into the system and it'll become an asset. And you can always delete and remove it, but it'll always save right inside the asset. So now if you look here on the props on the left-hand side, there's an octagon that shows up right there and it'll always be saved inside of your system. The next thing you have is the ability to export, right? The first thing that people always ask about is exporting. So let me go ahead and load a scene in here just so you have it. And the sounds, of course, you can pick and upload here as well. But if you want to export, it's really simple. You can pick the exact destination, the resolution, and so forth. Obviously, the higher the resolution, the more it's going to take in order to get it downloaded and exported. So please keep that in mind. Most people are just fine with the 480p, which is why we have it selected that way. But you can actually select higher frames, higher resolution resolution as you want and even quality so depending on what your project is and where you're putting it you can go ahead and adjust that frame rate and on average it just depends on your computer speeds but for me on my computer on this computer right now I'm running about uh, three to four minutes per minute of video that I create on on the resolution so that's how fast it does export and goes right onto your hard drive as well and ready to go wherever you want to upload it you can always change the setting when it comes down to it to blackboard at any time you'll see that it'll flip right to blackboard without a problem or you can go back and forth as you wish as well. And you can even change it here. So some people may want it where you want the uh, animation, uh, the audio to end longer because you want that last frame.